toe to toe. For boxing fans expecting to see former WBA and WBC junior middleweight champion Saul Canelo Alvarez go to war with Alfredo Angulo in their fight on March 8th, you might be a little bit disappointed to learn that the 23-year-old Canelo was talking about using movement against Angulo to try and nullify his attacks. So instead of seeing the Canelo that beat up light welterweight fighters like Josito Lopez and welterweights like Matthew Hatton, we could see the Canelo that used movement against Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Austin Trout to avoid getting worn down by them. End quote. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So that was just a little bit of an article that I was reading uh, by Dan Ambrose on Boxing News 24. You guys can go ahead to the website and um, read the entire article. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this news. So this card is billed and it's titled Toe to Toe. Now, you know what? Before I go any further talking about what Canelo said about how he's going to fight Alfredo Angulo, I want to go back to a video that I just did when I was um, talking about uh, Freddie Roach. When Freddie Roach was talking about what he thinks about Tim Bradley and he how he was contradicting himself. I was explaining to you guys that a lot of these fighters, in particular, fighters like Manny Pacquiao, fighters like Freddie Roach, and in that video, I also included Canelo Alvarez. I said the problem is, these type of fighters and trainers, they are constantly running into dumbass casual fans on the street that really have no knowledge of the sport. They're just basic fans, right? But what they do is they fill up these trainers and these boxers' head with nonsense, okay? And, you know, you keep hearing it, you keep hearing it, and you damn near become hypnotized. You start to think that that's the normal way of thinking, and then you start telling it, you Freddie Roach, you Canelo Alvarez, you Manny Pacquiao, you start telling this to the media, right? Now, the problem is, when the dumbass fan says this, he's not really going to be exposed on, on the highest level. I mean, the worst that can happen to a dumbass casual fan is he can be exposed as being a dumbass casual fan, right? But we already knew that. We already knew that fan in particular didn't really have that much knowledge of the sport, all right? But when it comes to Canelo Alvarez repeating what his fans are constantly telling him and feeding him, then he becomes a hypocrite on a much higher level. Now he's forced to explain things that he said previously, which are almost impossible to make sense of it now since you made this ridiculous comment. Or maybe I should say because you made this very telling admission. So let me go ahead and read a little bit of this uh, interview that Canelo Alvarez did when he was talking about how he's going to fight Alfredo Angulo. And then I'll explain why it is somewhat of a contradiction of epic proportions. So let's go ahead and get into it. Quote, movement is very important. I have to be ready from the opening bell. He's a dangerous fighter, and I know that. I have my game plan, so movement will be a big part of the strategy. But I'm going to be ready from the opening bell. After the opening bell, I have to be ready for his style. End quote. You know, the first thing I want you guys to understand is there is nothing wrong with having the strategy that I just read. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay? But the problem that Canelo Alvarez has is when he was asked, why are you not fighting against the best junior middleweight champion in your division? Canelo responds by saying the fans, they want to see a fight. They don't want to see a guy running around the ring. Okay? These are words that came out of Canelo's mouth. All right? The fans don't want to see a guy moving around the ring. But what are you saying now, Canelo? All of a sudden, you're saying movement is very important. It is a big key to winning this fight. Do you know what Canelo just said, guys? Canelo just said... He is going to do exactly what he was accusing Laura of doing. But he went into further detail of how he was going to run, how much he was going to run. Right? 
I don't recall Edislani Lara saying, oh, you know what? To beat Canelo, a lot of movement is going to be key in winning the fight. Moving in the ring is going to be very important if I were to fight Canelo. I didn't hear Lara say that. I didn't hear Lara say that. But Canelo Alvarez, he accuses him of being somewhat of a runner. But then you turn around and you say that, uh, that I'm, I'm going to get in this fight and I'm going to run. That's basically because if you're accusing someone else of quote unquote running and then you turn around and you say you're going to do the exact same thing. I mean, it's a contradiction, right? Now, and it's also important to note this as well. The guy who interviewed Canelo Alvarez and said that Edislani Lara is the number one guy in the division. What do you say to the people who ask, why are you not fighting the number one guy? I bring this up because I had a few Canelo Alvarez fans that were trying to make it seem like it was just me, you know, pumping up Edislani Lara, a guy who's not number one in the division. And I'm just saying it because I want to just put him there. But you have a Latino reporter this interviewing Canelo, and he's saying to Canelo the same things that you guys hear me say, which is, Laura is number one. Why are you not fighting him? So there's no reason for you guys to send me messages trying to play the race card, make it seem like this is all racial and et cetera. has nothing to do with that. And this reporter who just interviewed Canelo, he just proved that. When it comes to the sport of boxing, people are too emotionally attached. That's the reason why I report something like this and a Canelo Alvarez fan says, you just don't like him. You just hate, you're just hating on him, et cetera, et cetera. This ain't got nothing to do with liking him or hating him. I'm telling you the truth. And I'm trying to get people to understand the double standards that exist in the sport of boxing today. Okay? If the, if the double standards didn't exist in the sport of boxing... I probably wouldn't even be talking about this, but I talk about this to expose the double standards. What do some of these people who can't stand Floyd Mayweather, what do they call them? They call them stuff like what, gay runner and et cetera, et cetera. Tim Bradley fought against Manny Pacquiao. All he did was run. All he did was run, right? But then you have a guy like Canelo Alvarez openly telling you, I'm going to move. Not only am I going to move, but it is going to be a big key to me winning this fight. Movement is very important. Okay? So are we now supposed to call Canelo all different type of runner names, etc.? I mean, just think about it, guys. Just think about what you say when you post stuff. Think about how you are contradicting yourself. When you are supporting this guy who does the same thing that you're accusing another guy is doing in a negative way. Just think about what you're going to say before you open your mouth. So you don't make yourself look like a damn fool. Alright, moving on. Now let's go ahead and talk about this uh, strategy that Canelo is going to try to implement against Alfredo Angulo. Now, I, I, if you guys go back and you watch the little breakdown video that I did, Canelo versus Angulo, I told you guys this already. I told you guys that Canelo was going to move despite him saying that the fans want to see a fight, despite the, fa the fact that the, the card is called toe-to-toe. -to -toe, I told you guys that he was going to get on his bicycle and he was going to move in this fight. Once again, though, it wouldn't have really been a problem with him saying this because there's nothing wrong with having this strategy. But once he said that people want to see a fight, not someone running around the ring. You just completely destroyed your credibility when it comes to making excuses for why you're not fighting against Edis Lara. There can be no doubt that we now know why Canelo is avoiding Lara. There could be no doubt now. It's because Canelo Alvarez does not have confidence that he can beat this guy 100%. Canelo Alvarez has doubts when it comes to Edislani Lara. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure he believes that, you know, he has a chance. But at the same time, he also believes that Lara has a chance as well. So I guess the question is, how does Canelo Alvarez go to that next level where he is taken seriously? How does he reach the top 10 pound for pound? The top 5 pound for pound? 
How does he do this? Who is he going to fight if he's not going to fight Edislani Lara? If he's not going to fight Demetrius Andre, how does he show or prove, I should say, that he is one of the best fighters in the world? Is Canelo Alvarez just going to be a star with no accomplishments? And when I say accomplishments, I'm talking about accomplishments on the next level. I'm not talking about, oh, he got in the ring with Shane Mosley. Oh, he got in the ring with Mayweather. I'm talking about accomplishments, meaning who will he beat to take him to that next level? Who do you guys think that he should be fighting in his next three fights? When do you guys think he should fight against Edislani Lara? I mean, that's almost a rhetorical question right there. But the point is, once again, Canelo Alvarez is either just going to be somewhat of a Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., just a guy who has a big following, you know, a, a popular name, right? But every single time he steps up, he loses. So that kind of discourages him from stepping up. And he keeps fighting the same type of, you know, uh, Alfredo Angulos after losses, after they quit, etc. Right? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, you know, um, once again, this fight is a 50-50 fight as far as I'm concerned. I'm leaning towards Canelo Alvarez, but it's damn near a 50-50 fight. And once again, that says a lot about Canelo Alvarez's skill. Like I said, Canelo is supposed to run through this guy. He's supposed to do that, and it might even happen. But yet at the same time, I could easily see Angulo chasing, cutting off the ring, putting a lot of pressure on Canelo Alvarez, and slowing him down. Because like I said, Canelo fights in spurts. You don't want to fight against a pressure fighter when you fight in spurts. All right? So, um... Like I said, um, I, you, you guys should go check out. If you haven't seen the fight, go to YouTube. Go check the fight out. Canelo versus Leonardo Tyner. I told you guys before that when I first watched that, I gave Canelo the benefit of the doubt because he was younger. And, you know, maybe that was the reason why he was fighting that way. Because in that fight, Canelo, you talk about running. If you really want to talk about running, what Canelo did in that fight was the definition of a boxer running in the ring. Understand this. I'm only bringing this up because of what Canelo Alvarez said about Lara. I'm also bringing this up is because of what the fans are constantly saying about other fighters. Okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, video. We'll see what happens in this Canelo versus Angulo fight. But, uh... Like I was saying two years ago, and I'm going to say it right now, Canelo Alvarez, he's going to need to step up. He's going to need to step up if he wants to be taken seriously. Because what he's doing right now, he is not being taken seriously. All right? That's all I got to say. I'm on to the next one.